I'm Danielle Hale, Chief Economist for Realtor.com, and here's what you need to know this week. In a season of light and hope, investors have high hopes on subsiding inflation. Early in the week, revised data on labor costs and productivity offered encouragement alongside falling gas prices. Later this week, however, producer price data showed a faster than expected increase, driven by services prices and rising food costs. With conflicting signals behind us, it's harder to say what lies ahead from next week's consumer inflation data and Fed meeting. The Fed will not only announce their latest policy decision, they'll release updated projections that showcase their outlook on the economy, including for inflation, unemployment, and the likely path of the Fed funds rate. For now, the labor market appears to be quite healthy, with jobless claims increasing slightly, but remaining well below favorable levels. Mortgage rates this week continued their buyer-friendly direction, dropping further. Rates are now three quarters of a point below their early November high, yet are still nearly three and a quarter percentage points higher than last year. On the typical for sale home, a buyer putting 10% down is paying less than early November, but still much more than a year ago. Volatility in mortgage rates, which has been three to four times higher in 2022, has made it difficult for consumers to set a home shopping budget. Tools like the mortgage calculator on Realtor.com can help shoppers anticipate and adjust to changing conditions. The Realtor.com Weekly Housing Trends Report suggests that consumers may be reacting to lower mortgage rates. For the first time in eight weeks, listing growth steadied, and the slowdown in new listings was the smallest we've seen since July. Still, price growth continued to moderate, and homes spent more time on market. Survey data also show the impact of lower mortgage rates, with the Home Purchase Sentiment Index improving for the first time since February. Both buying and selling sentiment were up in November, even as both measures remain lower than a year ago. A lack of affordability, expectations that mortgage rates will climb, and concerns that home prices will fall are weighing on buyers and sellers. And finally, we released our Top Housing Markets of 2023 report this week. With affordability top of mind, the markets where sales and prices are expected to see the most growth are low-cost, mid-sized markets in the Northeast, South, and Midwest. These areas are home to manufacturing, government, and education and healthcare industries that are expected to continue hiring in 2023. You'll find the full list, along with our housing data for download, at realtor.com slash research. And follow us on Twitter for real-time updates. My colleague Georgia Two will share next week's update, our last of the calendar year. I wish you a happy, healthy holiday season and look forward to keeping you up to date in 2023.